Welcome to the 2022 Traditional Mead Tournament. We are here to taste 16 traditional meads, and I have some wonderful guests, hosts, uh, judges. You're going to be everything today. So let's go ahead and welcome all of our judges. We have Tony, we have BC, and we have Camilla. They are here to taste test these. I am just going to sit back and watch the action unfold and tell you what's happening. So the traditional mead tournament as based off a board. So I have on randomly random seeds basically gone in, created a bracket, and here is the board for you to check out. Now, if you want to take a guess on who you think is going to win, put it down in the comments, of course. But we're going to get started. We're going to start in our top left corner with Meads number three versus Meads number 11. Let's get started. Which one is two? This is two. So we're going to start over here. Over here. Yep. So we'll, so we'll run that and then run this. Okay, mine okay. is two. Where's the... Yep. Okay, so this one is green and that one is red. Yes. Okay. So here we have meads uh, number three and 11. This is a black locust traditional mead and a coffee blossom traditional mead. Thank you. Okay. So for. Are these all room temp? Yes. They should be. I'm just curious. So number three is green, right? Three yeah. is green. As if I don't know what these two honeys taste like. And feel free to give all the notes that you want. Any goods, bads, uglies. This one's a little bit more sparkly. Part. Number 11 is more sparkling than number 3. That's fine. I like number that. 3 is um, <laughs> quite a bit more youthful than number 11. Well, Tastes it's... young. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately I know that it is young, <laughs> so that doesn't help. Uh, but it. Yeah, yeah, you don't have all the facts on these, so. Number 11 is very sweet. And then three is a little bit more dry. I prefer, um, not sweet as much. I prefer the red one. And these both have unintentional carbonation. <laughs> yes, <laughs> tons of bubbles in here. <laughs> it's weird, I like, I like that the red one is a bit uh, richer and just like it's, it's got like a little bit more going on. It's just a right. bit more complex, but the yes. the it's funny because it the green one just like cleans up a lot on the back, but it's like really yeasty up front. Yeah, which yeah, knock on the nose. If that were if that were like dialed in, I feel like I would I would prefer to drink this just like casually. It's a little bit easier to drink. It's less sweet too, so. <laughs> I enjoy it more. Yeah. If I could marry the characteristics, you know, of that. Overall, though, I think the red one's the better Agreed. product. Well, well, well. Um, so we have decided which one? Red? Well, she hasn't voted yet. She hasn't um, voted yet. So sorry, so sorry. I, no, I you're jumped okay. Ahead. Um, and you said three was green, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. So I am going to disagree with you guys and actually really? enjoy this one better. Oh. Yes. Okay. Um, number eleven is a little bit too sweet for my mm -hmm. taste. Um, it is easy to drink, but I definitely enjoy number three more. A little bit drier, and I like dry. So I think the thing is that the green one is. It's weird. It's, it's just out a of balance. It's so just this a, bit is a lot more in balance. Mm -hmm. It's just shorter. Mm -hmm. Like they have like things that I like about each of them. Very much. Great. And the the things I dislike are like, yeah. you know, pull the other one in the other direction. So I think if this one had six months more age on it, we would probably be skewing. I, I agree. Man, it's funny because I don't really like the yeasty thing, and it's kind of driving me crazy. <laughs> but I like how it cleans up a lot on the back, and that yeah. is really short, and it's it is sweet, which mm. is okay, but it is really short. This has a lot longer finish on it mm -hmm. that I. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So we have a first winner. I feel like I'm going to regret that. It is the, so far, the coffee blossom has uh, moved on only by one vote. All right. We're going to move on to the next one. We have meads number nine and six. So this is a clover traditional mead, keeping it simple, and a metafoam traditional mead. So nine is the traditional, six is the metafoam. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. You'll probably want to start with the traditional. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Just let me drink it. <laughs> the clover. Oh god, the traditional is very bitter. It hits you in the back of the throat really quickly. The clover. Mm-hmm. 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 Sorry. Yes. Sorry, it says traditional mead, so it's like. Lean <laughs> Sorry. Over. The I know they're clover. all traditional. Sorry, the traditional clover. Oh. What did you do there? Woo! This is very bitter. I will say that I, is dry. I added this, added this it's to super dry. <laughs> this is one of my first traditionals. Okay. So there, and it's four and a half years old. So. Oh wow! Well, it's like I'm out in the desert. It's um, I think it's, I, I it's too clovey. Uh-huh. Like. <laughs> yeah, it's a little phenolic. Definitely, it's flat too. It does have like a. It does have. It like is a, a little flat. It's very yeah. flat. Yeah. It has like a really um. There's a there's a floral thing that mm-hmm. that. When you consume it, it's like ultra bitter. You know what I'm talking about? It like hits you in the back of the throat. Like you can instantly feel it. Yeah. yeah there's a there's something that we eat but that can get I'm trying to think of what it is right now. Like a vegetable? No, it's a it's a like it's not saffron. One? It's not what I'm thinking of. Maybe it is. Where like if you over if you put too much saffron in something, you know, it like it tastes like chlorine to me. Yeah, it's not, not good. good. Yeah. yeah. Well, but the meadow foam is really good. It's easy to drink. It's sweet, but not super sweet. I can like see myself drinking this in the porch yeah. on like a summer day, a little bit more, maybe cooler. Yeah, chilling. there are more floral, like flowery bouquet notes. But like, it's like a hint of it. Flower it's shop not like notes. something that's super intense. Which normally like meadow foam I experience as more what, of a marshmallow. Meadow foam. Honey. What is it? Oh, okay. it's a kind of honey. It's, it's like really. Did you add something to that? Uh, is meadow foam is very vanilla. It's I like very this vanilla. honey. Yeah. It definitely has um, a note of it's vanilla. It's a marshmallow y kind of honey. It's like overwhelmingly so. I don't know if I. I actually enjoy it. Like, I, I, don't I, know I can that see I care myself that. like drinking it, you know, like a summer think, day, a little bit cooler. I think that would function better as like a blending agent. Mm. Like a blending okay. honey. I'm really because it's so out of whack with its own self. A lot of people. A lot of people will make it like a clover wildflower traditional and then use meadow sorry, foam to sorry, back sorry. sweeten. So you just get uh, some of those notes. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't okay. like either of these. <laughs> <laughs> well, I prefer the meadow foam. I, mean, I do too, and I actually it's the enjoy better it. Like, I like it too. Uh, yeah. Like Alright, so we've all voted for the Meadow Foam. That is number six. Six, uh, six yeah. Six moves on. We're going to now move on to Meads number five, number five and nine. 16. Mm-hmm. Alright, so on the green square, our green is a buckwheat oh, traditional boy. mead, which we all know and love. Yeah, it's such a honey. great quality honey. And we have an orange blossom traditional mead, mead number 16. Man, I don't feel like this is a fair pairing. Well, they're randomly seated. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Hydrate. Who knows? Maybe the buckwheat will uh, be so good it just... <laughs> I mean, I love buckwheat, honey. I'm going to start with the orange blossom, though. <laughs> yeah. I would start with the orange blossom, because you your taste buds will flip. I'm a pro, man. That's like the running joke every time we taste people in wines. It's like... What tasting one do you want to do? It's like, I don't know, man, you're a pro. <laughs> Figure it out. Like, the aftertaste of this one, 16, is a little bit medicinal, like iodine-y. Is interesting. I mean, but it's the aftertaste, though. Like, it's not the first. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, I see what you're saying. There's like a... Like a I don't know. It just like, Kind of like when you suck on a penny. Yes. A coppery. Do that all the time. Maybe, yes. Every time. <laughs> Prepare your palate. Got a couple pennies over here. <laughs> so let's try it's, that. It's a little coppery. Yeah, it's, it's got just this like, zing, it's medicine, got this, like, like I don't know why. Like right in the middle of the palate, it's got this weird like. I don't really find it to be metallic tasting or coppery, but and we're talking about the, the orange, orange blossom. blossom. Yeah, it's kind of medicinal. Mm-hmm. It's bitter. It does it, but it's the aftertaste though. Like the first sip, it's it's kind of sweet, but in the aftertaste is when I taste the medicine, like iodine or something that reminds me of like. Beans. That doesn't do anything for me. I don't care for that. I'm curious what you think of the buckwheat now, because if you think that one's odd. So I prefer the body on the orange blossom, mm-hmm. but I prefer the flavor on the buckwheat. I don't like either of these. The buckwheat's too <laughs> too thin. Well, you have to vote. <laughs> this has like a blue, like a berry something, like a berry mm-hmm. note. Mm-hmm. Do you feel it? Yeah, blue, I don't know. blue I don't, blackberry like, type yes. thing. Yes. It's a. Uh, this smells like a farm. Yeah, these aren't like your best. it reminds me of being in the farm, you it's, know, like. A lot like, of people say that about buckwheat. And like, 
I don't know, like the stable and... A lot of people say it tastes like a horse blanket smells. Mm -hmm. It does. It really does. Like, I I mean, my dad used to have a farm, so, like, drinking this makes me think of, like, being in the farm in the morning. Like, it mm. smells... Yeah. It Which smells... I do not like. <laughs> it's, it... I don't like the way that smells at all. Mm. Does it give you, like, Brett, Brett vibes? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, mm -hmm. it smells like Pretendomyces a little bit. It's yeah. not. It smells more like butt than that. <laughs> Pretendomyces yeah. smells like like yeah. horsey, yeah. you know, yeah. and sweaty. Yeah, this like says, a branch. It's just like that, like <laughs> that's farm, not a butt. like a farm. Yeah. I don't know. It just I prefer it. I I, I I keep being the first to vote, but I feel like we got to move this, this along. This is a tough one, but it, it is a little more debatable than I thought it would be. I I well, I don't like either of them. <laughs> but that's more You're the tiebreaker. Yeah, I have a feeling Roma I'm gonna hear that a lot from you, like Tony. A, like I'd hate to say this, but like this is almost like offensively. Smell. See, and I don't even and though I don't love it, I don't I wouldn't like <laughs> I don't completely hate it because of that blueberry or some sort yeah. of berry note. I kinda like it. Just okay. But it's just the aftertaste is very like again, very like ranch, horse, cow. But that blueberry, I don't know if it's blueberry or like whatever berry it's in there, I like it. This it doesn't have any berry. It should just be a traditional this, it's a buckwheat, so it has whatever. Some sort the, of berry note. Um this smells so you're the, good. You're the tiebreaker now. Mm -hmm. Like this at least smells. Like, <laughs> like I want to. Like when I it. smell it, I'm like, yeah, this is inviting. Yeah. I want to drink this. When I, like, I smell that, that is not. I like the yeah. funk. Um, You're the tiebreaker. Yeah, I um, again, I don't absolutely hate this one, um, but I also don't love it. I also don't love this one, but mm -hmm. between these two, I like okay. this one better. It's a little bit easier on my palate. That has like a jalapeno type thing. Like a spice type help. Like All right. I think it's the orange that I like the orange hint that, that's drawing me to it. So that means that the orange blossom traditional moves on. I know there's some big buck rich. there's some big yeah. buckwheat fans who are gonna be really, really sad at Slightly that. Slightly vegetal. Alright. We're like now moving on things, to number ten versus right. number seven. Our Two next years. one is we've got a interesting this is um, I would call this a traditional because it's only honey. The lion we have a uh, buckwheat, bring it back to that mesquite Nautical? blossom um, mixture Ooh. mead versus a mango honey traditional. Oh, I love mango. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I've got a couple of mango traditionals. This actually smells like mango too. Going right now. Mm, mm, very tropical. Mesquite and buckwheat. Yes. This one smells like a candle. Number seven. From yes. Body Works, yes. What is happening? Number seven? <laughs> I need a uh, heavier pour than that. I need to blow my nose. Not picking up the nose on this one at all. That's the one that smells Floss like, like a candle. <laughs> Like when you walk into <laughs> Bottom Body Works? It is a little waxy. Yeah. I'm like, Ooh. A little waxy. I, I was thinking like a Yankee candle. Like a Yankee candle, yeah. <laughs> one of those a those seasonal those, candle, though. Those, those yes. big glass jars with little... Yep. <laughs> the, yes. It's not like it. Yes. I mean, I love candles, so... Well, here's your opportunity then, to drink one. <laughs> so how many do Do you remember that in The Simpsons? Homer, like... Pours a candle into his mouth so he can eat the world's hottest pepper without tasting it. I don't remember. That. There'll be a clip here. I'll clip, I'll clip it right there. <laughs> or I'll forget and it'll just be a blank screen. <laughs> this mango one is really good. I like it a lot. I haven't tried this sunset. sunset. Oh, that is lovely. Oh. That might be the best one I've tried yet today. I'm not a fan of this mucking sunset. I like the name. I like the bottle. <laughs> I could just drink the name. The actual oh, yeah. content. Um, so it smells like a candle. Uh, does not taste like a candle. Ugh. But bitter. Bitter and a very. Um, the aftertaste is very like woody. It's gross. It, I don't care for this one. The mango one, excellent though. I really yeah. like this one. The mango one's really nice. So. Refreshing. It's fruity, refreshing, mm -hmm. well balanced. Yes. I'm a I could use like a go. touch more acid in there, but I feel like that's splitting hairs. Oh, I like this mango one a lot. Again, a summer night. Mm -hmm. A little bit cooler. So the mango is definitely the winner here, but it's too. Um, the mango is like. I almost. 
it's funny because I always complain a lot of times about like fruited stuff not ever presenting its fruit mm. clearly. <laughs> and this one clearly is mango. Yeah, and and this one's so mangoed, I feel like it could be pulled back a bit and just to give it some balance and let because I I'm losing the honey thing. Mm. Like the honey's not coming through for me very well, and it's just all mango. In the mango? Mm-hmm. It's just so much mango that I that I. You do pick up a lot of fruit in there. It's a it's lot. It is very mango I wish it was just that dialed back a little bit to like, to show me the mango, but also like, I don't know, just make me work for it a little bit more. Because it's so intense. I don't want to yeah. that, like, drinks. I just, and I at like the same time, it's a traditional, so you're working with the honey that you've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine to drink. I, it's not that at all. I'm just being really nitpicky. Like it's yeah. out of balance to me. The the mango is too. It's like at an eleven. And Buy worse mango blossom honey next time. <laughs> Hear that? Whoever I bought this hand honey from, get worse, please. It's actually, in my opinion, no. I, I mean, really you're right. It's excellent mango honey, whatever it is. I liked it, it a lot. The honey really mimics the fruit in a really interesting. way. Is that what's way. happening right now? No, yeah, there's no actual mango in there. It's weird. I guess it, I guess it's I keep just forgetting that everything's traditional. It's just the honey. I keep forgetting everything's traditional. Yeah, everything's traditional. Okay, I think we have a mix up here. No. Okay, so that means all three judges have voted for the mango honey mead. We're uh, getting rid of the smoking sunset mesquite buckwheat, and we're moving Love on. The name, though. It's it's just not good. That's the wrong one. It's not That's good. right. Okay. Um, we are moving on to meads number twelve and meads number mead number. Uh, my handwriting's terrible. There four. All right, so we oh, have a That's fireweed traditional mead versus a carrot blossom honey traditional mead. Right? Yes. So, let's see what happens. What's up, Doc? <laughs> I had a carrot blossom traditional at Sorry. Valkyrie's Horn that was so good. It was like, this one, it almost tasted like carrot cake, already. but it was just a traditional. <clears throat> okay, so. Four is carrot are, blossom. Carrot versus four fire. Four is carrot, okay. Four is, the, four is red. Four is red, okay. So, that's the one that I'm, I'm getting hmm. like a berry scent again. Oh, man. It's good. Which one? The carrot blossom. I keep meaning to buy carrot blossom honey. That one's good. The thing I like about this one is the, um, both of these are good, but the spices, spicy note you get from a carrot blossom honey is very interesting. It's wild how it's just honey, but it tastes like spices. It tastes like a method blend. Mm-hmm. It's like it's carrot cake. Yeah, it tastes okay, like carrot this cake. carrot one, it makes me think, I feel like the name Sunset will go better with this one, because this is actually like making me <laughs> think of a sunset. <laughs> like, not really, though. Uh, the carrot yeah. one, I'm like, I'm thinking of like a nice, like, purpley sunset when I drink this. Purpley sunset? Mm-hmm. Like the really strong pinks and purples that you, you know, see. You know, I'm split on this one because I think the fireweed is better, but I think the carrot blossom is far more complex and interesting. Controversy. And so, like, do I vote for the one that I think is better executed, or do I vote for the one that I think is more interesting to drink? I actually like both of these two. I'm torn. Um, I like the body of the Kara Blossom, too. And I enjoyed the taste of the firewood, but I don't like the smell or the first sip. Like, I like the aftertaste of okay. this one. So, so, I just find it really interesting. The reason I asked about the fine and filtering thing is because, like, the color on this is really hazy, which mm. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I actually prefer beverages to not be fine and Which is at number four, so, or 12. Because it could have been my pour. These are both of them. Yeah, yeah, the, the other ones look clear. I think I, I just, I, got, I, uh, just got, I think I just got a bit of sediment in the bottom, which mm-hmm. is fine. It, it tastes good. Um, the, the, the carrot is, is quite bitter on the sides of the tongue, like. Mm-hmm. 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 And that just, it's really like good. persist. It like persists quite, quite a bit. Like it doesn't really go away. These are yeah, good. It's got a pretty long finish. All right, so what are you going to vote for? That's the real question. Ooh, Who's ooh. the winner here? I'm really torn on this Me one. Me too. I'm ooh. actually, yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time. I'm making I'm my own side bracket here, so <laughs> I'm not going to tell you my results, but I have my own side thing going on. I'm so that, on the conflicted. Screen. Heavily so, conflicted on this one. I I think that the, the, the firewood is, um, like, approachable to drink. Mm-hmm. Um, the the carrot blossom bitterness is a little too much for me. It's like that's what's killing it for me. Mm. This is a tough one. It I'm, is. It really is. Like I'm actually conflicted again. I like the carrot blossom. Somebody place. has to vote first. 
The yeah. Or we could all vote at once. You could just. Well, sure. Uh, we could like. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go first. I've made my like choice. I've made my choice. I'm gonna go with the fireweed. Oh, yeah, right. I'm doing that. Ooh. Well, then I don't feel bad for voting the other way. All right. So we had two ju- judges vote for Fireweed, one for I Carrot just, Blossom. And they're not extra. I really enjoy both. So I think the hard. Carrot Blossom is just more interesting. But I do I'll feel think. like this one is yeah. better. They're both that means really the Fireweed moves on. We are now moving on to the next round. We got three more rounds to go. So we have a Blackberry traditional mead versus a Macadamia Nut Blossom honey mead. Both of these smell great. They both smell great. They yeah, really they do. both have a nice, like, a nose that tells you that it's mead. Mm. The berry smells really good. Blackberry. Ooh. Okay. You pick up a lot of blackberry right on the front end, and then it fades into Oof. the bitter and astringent yes. on the back end. I have no like, aftertaste of that. Man, I wish the finish was the same as the... Yeah. First, they were really good. Aftertaste, not great. That's easy. Yeah, the macadamia ends a little a little medicinal, but it's better balanced. It's also brighter. The, like the, the flavor is very bright. I love that. I, I think that can be dialed in to be really cool. This one is the easy one. So, so all right, that was a quick one. All right, yeah. so the the blackberry um, did not receive any votes. Nope. That's not so sad for him. Uh, <laughs> but the macadamia nut moves on with all three judges voting. We are now moving on to the next round, which is a blueberry honey traditional versus Ooh. a versus a coriander yeah. traditional. Oh no! Oh, Maine bees blueberry. Ooh, yeah. how exciting! Yeah. This is some of my food. favorite honey that I've ever had. All right, okay. so we have... Number two is your coriander, uh, coriander honey. Mm-hmm. I've also had a really Red interesting cheese. coriander traditional. That was uh, one I, of the I'm strangest things fan. I've ever had. I'm not, I'm not a coriander fan, just in general. Excuse, oh, this is Because of the soapiness? Mm-hmm. Wait, I, I don't know what it is. No, I'm I, too, I'm sorry. I've just never <laughs> enjoyed it. Um, oh. Oof. This, this I'm gonna start the, with the, the blueberry. Bees. Ooh, the smell of the bees. <laughs> I think I'm already drunk. It smells guys. like fresh bees. <laughs> Honestly, I feel drunk already, but it's all good. This is what some I'm here crackers. for. <laughs> <laughs> it's a I have. Uh, I think you know it's fun. the only coriander thing I've found. Like I like it very lightly in some Indian food. Mm-hmm. But I also the only other thing I have found it in that I care for it is I had this coriander grappa. That was outstanding. Interesting. When yeah. did they add the coriander to it? I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, I can actually... I have some of their grappa at home, but I don't have the coriander one. But mm. I almost bought one the other day. It, it's fantastic. I'll, I'll buy one. And, um, Does that say blueberry or blackberry? No. Blueberry. blueberry. Okay. I cannot taste the blueberry at all, but it is very tropical and fruity. But I, I don't see the blueberry. Like, I don't taste the blueberry. But I do get like a tropical, fruity, like beachy. Okay. Kind of like. I get blueberry on the nose, honey on the nose. Just a little bit. I guess you couldn't say it's like blueberry, but I still feel it tastes. The taste. I can't is find it. Berry. Mm-mm. Berry. To me, and it's honey. more tropical, like zesty, like orangey, and hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking about like yellow fruits instead of blueberry. Yeah, it's sense. a lot more citrus fruit. Yes, it's very. Mm, it gets a little bit like um, a little bit of jamminess on the back, like on the finish. Yes, I can see that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like it. I just cannot. Like, I've been tasting or smelling berries all morning, all these drinks. But this one that's actually blueberry, I cannot pick it up. But it's still good. The coriander is, I don't know that I would use the term medicinal, but it is. Very flat. It's kind of offensive. The The exhale is. I think it's very flat. There's kind not. Of Definition to it. So we got two judges who have oh, voted. Sorry. Who's gonna vote? What are you gonna vote for? Oh, I'm, I'm oh. on that. Well, Tony, yeah, I don't, yeah, what's your I, opinion? I though? think so. Well, okay, so here's the deal. Like, um, the, the I actually don't mind the coriander. It's okay. Um, it's got a good weight to it. It's got a really good viscosity. Um, the the blueberry is like. It's nothing exciting. It's a it's a bit more drinkable. Um, yeah. well, I, just, I, I, I don't know. It's sort of whatever. 
I just don't like, care. Like for I think the they're pretty. I think they're pretty like balanced out. Like I, I could, I could, I could go one way or the other. Like I'm, I'm, I'm only going with the blueberry because I think that, um, I think that it's it's got a, it's got a bit more approachability. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's I'm really it. That. That's okay. really all that it is. This one is very boring and flat. Like there's just nothing that I can enjoy. Out of that, I don't the know. finish on it is disgusting. <laughs> you like you. You like that buckwheat? Though, <laughs> the thing was, and I, he's made some buckwheat that I liked. Yeah. Okay, but that thing is weird. I, I don't. There, there's like a medicinal or herbal something on that on the finish that is not good. All right, so that means that the blueberry traditional moves on. Now we are on our last round of this um, first round. There will be four in total. This is a cranberry blossom honey mead versus an alfalfa traditional mead. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, God. Does this smell like coffee? Does 14 smell like cranberry? coffee to y'all? It a little bit smells like the, the, the buckwheat traditional. Oh, God. That buckwheat. Traumatized by it. I wish you hadn't said that. <laughs> it's it's triggery. Little, now we have PTSD from it. It's got a little bit of the, the, okay, the fourth manure kind of smell. Okay, cranberry smells like coffee. Now. The cranberry is not doing it for me. The alfalfa yeah. smells really good. There, I'm, I'm, weird. I'm picking up heat, ah. though. Like a little bit of booze. It's hard to drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is... It smells really good, but... I love that no one's holding anything back. They're like, no. crash! <laughs> crash! <laughs> Great. This is we have it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I... Oof. Let me try it again. I'm, I'll give you another try. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> I see what you're saying. It kind of... It kind of the cranberry? No, the alfalfa. Alfalfa. Oh, the cranberry's really hard to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, okay. The alfalfa burns a little bit. Do you all know what is that? So what is that? bitter, dude. Okay, what is that, like, orange fruit that's little, um... Kumquat? Like a tangerine? No, 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 like smaller. It's like kind of like a berry size. They have a Trader oh. Joe's. Oh, uh, gooseberries. Gooseberries. So it is they are gooseberries? Yeah, okay, yeah, they okay. are. They're orangey. They are, they're small, and they, mm -hmm. they kind of look like tomatoes, like cherry tomatoes. Why would gooseberries be illegal? I don't know. There's a whole thing where you them. them and yeah, them and the only place I've seen them here is Trader in Trader Joe's. Joe's. Yeah. I've not seen them anywhere oh, they, else. My stepmom loves them. They're gross. But this is exactly what they taste like. Which I, one are we talking about? Alfalfa or cranberry? Alfalfa. Oof. Okay. The alfalfa exactly hurts my mouth. Like. There's something and in there that... I just everything out of me, so... Burns. Yes. Yeah. I, have, I feel that. Oh. Gooseberries. Yes. It, like, yes. stings a little bit. Mm, that doesn't... That's not what it is. It's... I mean, it's, it feels like somebody's taking a little needle and pricking the inside mm -hmm. of my mouth. No, it. it has this, like, smoky cream, smoky creaminess to it. Like, like, uh, like, like, yeah, like a smoky creaminess. I don't know how to describe that. No, I, See, I, I'm honestly, picking that up I'm, in the cranberry. That cranberry's bad. The cranberries, I, don't, I do not drink <laughs> coffee at all, but the cranberry is like a day-old coffee uh, it's got like, it's like a watered down coffee that you live in the pot for a while it's got like a that's it's, it's got like a like. staleness to it yes it stale that's thank you yeah that's the word that i was looking for i went, I went like with like day old watered down y'all i feel like i prefer I the cranberry over the alfalfa mm -hmm. though mm -hmm. the alfalfa is very difficult to drink i i disagree that cranberry i wish i hadn't drink it again it, the bitterness is pretty difficult to get past you are correct mm -hmm. that and it's not even like a tannic bitterness. It's like a flavor of bitterness. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's tannic too. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's not like an overwhelming astringency. It's just like bitter. Like puckering bitter. 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 Bitter beer face. Bitter. The alfalfa I don't think is that bad to drink. I'm going with the cranberry. That, that's objectively I, wrong. I absolutely... All right, you got a vote. Who? This is the final pieces. round for or final pairing, I guess. You think the alfalfa gonna vote is a better and easier drinking product than the cranberry? Yes, dude. Mm. At least it's got some texture and doesn't. It's got some texture to it, and but that texture was painful. No, man, <laughs> you're being silly. Come on. I'm being silly. That that is is it's got a roundness to it. It's a little bit plump. The alcohol's not. The alcohol carries through well. It could use a little more acid, but. I really don't think it's... It, it, you guys are making a big deal out of that. No, it tastes like medicine. No. All right. 
familiar. Okay. It's all you deciding factor. Me. Again. Um, I'm these so these are uh, okay, objectively, okay, these are the worst two of the day. So yes, far. I agree. So I'm conflicted. Again, this cranberry is just like a, a flat, it's stale. It just reminds me of coffee, and I despise coffee. So I do not enjoy it. This one, again, gooseberries, not a big fan, but between these two, I'm going to go with alfalfa. Thank just, you. Uh, All thank right. You. I just, I, it's not my favorite, but if I had to pick one, it will be that one. All right, so here is the board for round one. <laughs> We have... Um, I can get through that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get through that one. We have uh, quite an interesting setup for I, round two. You're gonna, I guess we just have if you are watching this uh, on Monday, you can find round two tomorrow. So come back for round two, Monday. and you will find out who moves on from our current board, and we will see you then.